Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, as you know, I have been uh, playing with the Artist Loft Flow White. It's also flow acrylic and soft body acrylic. So the, I don't know which one I used the first time. I think it was this one, but it could have been this one. So now I have um, more questions. I have a lot of paint that I have um, mixed up here in my quest to be a mad scientist. So I kind of mix them together and I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I don't know what is going to come of it. I was gonna use some of my drips. I don't know if I should with my palette. Hmm, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Okay. Because I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna layer layer a couple cups and um, do a, a traveling ring pour. This is a bunch of blues and purples mixed up together. Um, I think I have two boom gels in here, some Master's Touch Venetian blue. There might be some um, Payne's gray in here, but the two boom gels I mixed, um, it was like a purpley color the other day and it was, um, what was it? It was um, uh, Native Violet Dark, and it was also um, Mally Ridnet Blue. I mixed those two together. It was really kind of a cool color. This is Parage Posse, and that is in Shelley's Masquerade. So it's really shimmery, beautiful color. This is Parage Posse in, uh, what is this? This is um, Sleeping Beauty, beautiful color. This is a bunch of colors. I, I like to do custom colors, guys. Um, I started out with Arteza in um, Golden Hour, and then I added some Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine fluid and I also have a little bit of um, uh, titanium white in here to make it a little bit more opaque because we know opaques work best with this. This always sells. I don't know why, how, because I think it's transparent but this is Golden's um, Green Gold. This is a bunch of colors mixed together as well. This is um, uh, This is Color Shift in um, White Flash. There's a little bit of Silver Flash in there as well. And I, to that, I added some Modern Masters in Pearl White. And I also have a little bit of Titanium White in here. So we'll see what that brings us. Um, I think that's all my colors. Now, do I wanna do a split canvas? I don't think so with the, that purple is not going to go well with these colors. So let me take a couple of cups and layer these. Got to get my sticks out. I'm going to start light in this color and this cup dark in this cup. Now we might need more of that. And then we're going to go with the golden hour here. And here we're gonna go with that turquoise, the masquerade. Then, oh, I'm gonna put a green gold in there. A little bit of uh, golden hour here. It's kind of going right to the bottom. Yeah, I guess I have to pour it along the side. There we go, that's easier. Now I'm gonna, oh, just do them. Gotta make sure, <laughs> gotta be careful about that green because green tends to take over. Now I'm just kind of going back and forth. Oh, yeah. When, you ha when you're dealing with um, really, um, whew, Jesus, fluid paints, they tend to sink. So this is pretty much like a dirty cup now. We'll just see how it goes. I, actually, dirty cups are kind of fun because you never know what you're going to get. 
All right, I'm gonna put my paints aside here. I'm gonna flip my canvas. This is plenty of paint. I probably won't even use both. But if I have any left over, I will probably do a small canvas, which I probably should do a small canvas first, but what the heck. All right. So it's a uh, 16 by 20 canvas. It needs 14 ounces of paint. That was almost to the top. There we go. And because it's thinner, we don't need as much. Now, God only knows what kind of pearls, cells, whatever I'm going to get on this because I've mixed both recipes, um, the old and the new. So we'll just have to wait and see. And look at all that paint down here. Get my corner, my sides. Just letting it flow. Tons down here. raining outside. Oops. All right. Let me try to move that a little bit more so I don't have any finger marks in there. And then bring it back. And I still have finger marks in there. Ah, what the heck. Oh, I forgot to level my canvas. Dang, and I put the levelers on. I don't know. Well, oh, I did some um, resin tonight in the other room, and I left my my leveler there. Just oh, geez. Oh well. Okay. Anytime you want to learn from somebody else's mistakes, please tune in. <laughs> Jeez Louise, why did I do that? Oh my gosh, oh well. I'm just gonna wing it. All right, so let me take, I don't even think we're gonna need both of these. Let me take the darker one. Darker colors tend to do better. So I'm just gonna do this across the canvas. I gotta go get my my torches in the other room too. Well, I may as well get my. I'll be back after these commercial messages. All right, here we go. Torch. I didn't drink that much white in. All right, it's level. I'm gonna just pour a little bit of paint here. <laughs> All right, I wouldn't recommend doing that either. So all the white ended up at the bottom and it's really selling. Um, I'm not sure which way I wanna go with this. I could go back and forth. We'll see what we get. Watch we get nothing. Watch. <laughs> that would be funny, right? That would be too funny. Alright. At least we got some um, different colors in it this time. That one time I did it and it oh, it turned out nice, but it didn't dry well, guys. It um it dried 
um, kind of crappy and I'm going to fix it and I'm going to actually do a video on how I fix it. But it was, um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't what I was looking for. That's when I discovered that I had a problem with the artist loft. All right. Now we're going to bring it back. And now that I've got most of that paint off, I think. And stretch it out so that we get some nice um, cells and reactions. Oh, that little side over there is, there we go, I'm getting it off. Stretch, stretch, stretch. That is the way to do this. See how I'm getting all, all these cells at the bottom? Um, I don't know how it's going to react because we have two different, two different, uh, oh, I like that. Two different um, um, recipes in here. So it might just eat up all the color, I'm not sure. See now this, that cell right there is getting huge already, which I don't, I'm not real fond of those. And I might do some swipes on this, but uh, I'm going to put you on time lapse after I uh, torch it once more. Look at all those cells. And then I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to bring it over. Yeah, there's still paint on it. Now some of these are getting wonky, but when, once we tip it the other way, they'll unwonk. We should. So I want to get cells on this side. I think I really blew it with these uh, furniture levelers. I don't know where my mind was. I'm gonna keep it going down. Keep it going. Vertical tilt. Those are kind of pretty, actually. I like when the cells kind of um, fall like that. They look, um, no, to, how to explain it? But since the paint's still moving, I'm taking advantage of it. All right. Whoa. Stretching is your friend. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that and put you on time lapse and see what happens with this. It's very green. I wasn't really going for green, but eh, we'll see.
well, guys. <laughs> this went through a lot of changes, but I really like it now. Um, so I guess when in doubt, blow it out. Yeah, it was really caca earlier. And um, now a lot of these don't have a lot of pearls or the pearls I have are like different colors. But the reason being is there's a lot of mica in um, some of these paints, like the, uh, the flash, the white flash, the silver flash. So there's a lot right there. And um, I love the depth, you know? Oh, I'm so glad I did this. So this has given me food for thought for other pores. There's some pearls up there. And there's some really cool effects over here. And I think this had to do with that uh, pearl, pearlescent white that I had the, um, the white flash in. I mean, the lacing on there is really cool. So I was gonna at one point blow it some more, which you could, look at all that shimmer right there. It's hard, well, yeah, now you can see it. Wow. It doesn't really show that well on the camera, but it's beautiful. So, um, before I started, I forgot to tell you guys that I had wanted to do this piece based on um, my color inspiration of this, which I had done quite a while ago. So that was a Shelly Art, one of my first Shelly Art blows, um, or blooms. So the colors are similar and I'm really liking it now, but boy, was I worried earlier. <laughs> so you, it was it was a good save, but it was very touch and go for a while. I thought, oh, I'm gonna scrape. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ciao for now.